I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2018 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 10. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 10. Okay, so this over here is question 10 and this question is testing us on solid figures and volume. Okay, so first, we have to read the question. So, John stacked 8 unit cubes and glued them together to form the solid below. So, this is the solid. Okay, so this is the 8 cubes stacked on top of each other. So, part A, draw the front view and the side view of the solid on the grids below. So, this is the grids. Okay, so now that we've read part A, let's highlight the key information. So, the key information is 8 unit cubes. Okay, and then that's the only thing, and they're only telling us to draw the front view and the side view. So this type of question, there's not really a key information, okay, but we can just highlight the some of the key information. Okay, so they are they are giving us that this is the top view. If we look from up to down, is the top view, okay, and this is the front view. So if we turn it. If we turn this thing around, then it will give us the front view. So it's basically this, whatever you see on this side, okay? And this is the side view, okay? So the side view is whatever you see this side, okay? So we are supposed to draw the front view and the side view, okay? The front view is basically like this. So whatever you see from this angle is the front view, okay? So, is, we are only looking at the faces. Okay, so these are the only things when you see. Because when you turn it around and see, right, you cannot see this thing already. Because if you draw another cube, this will actually, you can't see it. So, this is the same logic over here. Okay, so you can't see it over here. And then these cubes, you cannot see as well. And when you are looking at this cube, right, you can't see at these cubes as well. So basically, the front view is only like this. So let me show you how to draw the front view. So this is basically how you draw the front view. So first, you can see one over here and another here. So there's basically two of them, right? And then there's another. So first, we need to draw three cubes. So first, I'm going to give one, two, three. And then I'm going to draw the same thing here. And then we just need to connect the lines together. So there's one square, the one side of the square of the cube, okay? So there's one square, two square, and three square. So that's basically three sides. After that, we just need to draw this side, okay? So we just need to connect them together. So one here, one here. Then after that, we just need to connect it. So this is the front view, okay? So we have gotten the front view. Now, to move on to the side view, let me erase on all of these things here so that you can see. So the side view is pretty easy. We, we should highlight whatever we see from the side. So this is what we see from the side. If we turn it around and make it face us, right, then we can only see these three and this here, okay? And these two okay so basically if you turn it around right you can only see the front view of it so front view is basically the side view now so the side view you can only see like this right so basically there's three cubes here there's three cubes but you cannot see you all the other cubes that is behind it like like this cube you cannot see it because it is already a line it's like it's like you have a pen, right? And then you put another pen behind it. But then you you look at it from a certain angle, you can't actually see it. So it's just like you have two pieces of paper, okay? And when you put another piece of paper behind, and when you look at it straight, right? You can only see one piece of paper. But when you separate it, you can see more pieces. So this is the logic, the same logic that works to this, okay? So this is how you find the side view. So basically, this, this is easier than this because here 
you need to visualize this another cube here okay so let's draw the side view so how do we draw it so first i'm going to draw the three cubes below so that's basically three cubes so one one line two and then three after that i'm going to connect it one two three four so there's three already so just need to put one line okay so it's connected so there's three squares already so it's basically one side and then we need to draw one of these so we are done with this now we need to draw one of these so just one square so down down and then up one line so we have this covered so cancel it off now we need to draw these two okay so basically you just need to finish up the figure by doing this one two one two and then you connect in between and over here okay so that's this so we are done with this as well so this is the side view over here okay so now let's read part b now that we have solved part a john painted the whole solid including the base red okay the base what is the base okay the base is basically so if i have a cube here right so this is basically a cube so including the base that means right so they, they have painted the top the side the front the back and the side again right but then this is the base over here see the red color that i fully drawn okay maybe i give it in black color so this this black color area is the base so basically including the base means they colored the base which is in black here okay so i hope you understand that okay so let's move let's continue reading how many of the eight cubes had exactly four of their face, faces painted red okay so let's highlight the key information so he painted the whole solid including the base red color okay so they are asking us how many of the eight cubes had exactly four of their faces painted red so exactly four of their faces painted red okay let me erase this so that it can be easier for us to solve it so so four of their faces painted red hmm how do we try to solve this okay so this is a tricky question for most people because they cannot visualize properly so first in order to have four pieces in order to have four faces painted red right so four faces painted sorry let me write that again so four faces painted is equal to two faces not painted because in a square there is six faces right so if four of the faces must be exactly painted that means that two of the faces must not be painted so we should look at all the all the uh, cubes that have each of their sides touching another cube so this side is touching another cube and this side is touching another cube so these two faces are painted no are not painted sorry yeah these two faces are not painted so we need four faces painted right so these two are not painted so that is why this first square this first cube is actually exactly four faces painted so this is why it is correct and we know that the base is also painted that means that the below part here right is also painted so that is why there's four faces painted exactly for this cube so i'm going to put so i'm just going to shade this and then i'm going to say that this is correct so now let's move on to finding for the next cube so in order to find the next cube right so i'm going to see this cube so this cube has exactly two faces painted as well so whatever i'm highlighting in yellow means that 
is actually painted already. So this is the correct cube. So the second cube. So it has two faces painted as well. Not painted as well. Okay. So one side here. And then the other side here. Not painted. Okay. So this is not painted. So the other four sides are painted. So this second cube is also correct. Okay. So these two cubes are correct already. Okay, let's look at the third cube. The third cube, where is it? So it is on this one cube here. And then what else is it touching? So it is touching this other cube. So these two faces are not painted, right? So that means that this cube over here is also correct. Because when there's only two faces painted, the there's the rest of four faces not painted. Wait, sorry. When two faces are not painted, the rest of the four faces are painted. So these three cubes are already correct. So now, let me take a look at this cube over here. This cube on the top. So how many cubes is this cube touching? So this cube is only touching one of the cubes. And where is it touching? It's only touching this one piece. Okay, so this cube is actually wrong. So, whatever is wrong, I'm going to highlight it in red, okay? So, yellow means correct and red means wrong. So, this is correct and red means wrong. So, this is in red. So, this cube is wrong. Now, this cube down here. So this cube, so let me erase the highlighted portion so that we can see clearly. So this cube is touching this cube over here, okay? And this cube is also touching this cube over here, okay? So basically it has two faces touching two cubes. So basically that means that four of these faces is painted. So this cube is also correct. So... Let me just highlight everything in yellow to make it easier to see. So these are the correct cubes only, okay? And the wrong cubes are not highlighted. So basically, from looking at this cube, right, I know that this cube is also wrong because this cube has only one of its faces touching another cube. So basically, it's wrong. Because we need at least two faces to be touching each other. So this cube is also wrong. So let me take a look at the below cube. This below cube has two of its faces touching each other. So one over here. And, and the... Sorry. So... So we need to look at this cube, right? So what we need to do first is look at what size is it touching so is it touching the two of the cube sides so we need to check right so basically it is touching this cube side right and then it is also touching this upper cube side so this cube actually has two of its sides touching each other so it's touching here and it's touching here so the rest of the sides are painted so this cube is also correct okay so these are the cubes so far correct so this one here these three like always because we did this first and then this one here okay but there's a secret cube that we have not seen yet this cube over here see this small area that we can see yeah this cube here okay if you don't believe me, there's one. So if you don't believe me, I'm going to say that this cube below here is also have four faces painted. Do you know why? Okay, this cube is in contact with this area over here. Okay, and this cube is also in contact with this area, this line here. Okay. So basically, this cube has two of its faces touching each other. So that is why this cube has also four faces painted. Okay. So.
So this cube is also correct. So that's basically these three, this one and this two. So that's basically six cubes painted. Okay. So the answer is supposed to be six. So the answer is supposed to be six. Okay. So let's just ensure to count it. So that's one here, two, three, four, five, and six. So the answer is six for this question part B. Okay. So I hope you understand my explanation for this question, question 10. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!